thou who art everlasting, send your servant to guide the dead to new life. Nubis, come forth. Anubis, the ancient Egyptian god of mummification and embalming. With a human body and a jackal's head, Anubis was one of the most feared and respected gods among the ancient Egyptians. The son of Ra, Anubis assumed different roles in various contexts. Not only the protector of graves, Anubis was also an embalmer. He was then replaced by Osiris in his role as lord of the underworld. One of his prominent roles was as a god who ushered souls into the afterlife. He attended the weighing scale during the weighing of the heart, in which it was determined whether a soul will be allowed to enter the realm of the dead or not. Despite being one of the most ancient and one of the most frequently depicted and mentioned gods, Anubis played almost no role in Egyptian myth. Anubis was depicted in black a color that symbolized both rebirth and the discoloration of the corpse after embalming. Anubis' female counterpart is Ampot, who was like Anubis, the goddess of funerals and mummification. His daughter is the serpent goddess Kepshet, who was thought to give water to the spirits of the dead while they waited for the mummification process to be complete. In contrast to real wolves, Anubis was the protector of graves and cemeteries. Anubis took other names in connection with his funerary role, such as He Who Upon His Mountain, Keeping God Over Tombs From Above, and Lord of the Sacred Land, which designates him as a god of the desert Necropolis. Anubis was also called He Who Is In The Place Of Embalming. Anubis was associated with mummification, he was also called he who presides over the god's pavilion, in which pavilion could be referred either to the place where embalming was carried out or the pharaoh's burial chamber. In the Osiris myth, Anubis did help Isis to embalm Osiris. Indeed, when the Osiris myth emerged, it was said that after Osiris had been killed by Set, Osiris' organs were given to Anubis as a gift. With this connection, Anubis became the patron god of embalmers during the rites of mummification. Illustrations from the Book of the Dead often show a wolf mask wearing priests supporting the upright mummy. By the late Pharaonic era, Anubis was often depicted as guiding individuals across the threshold from the world of the living to the afterlife, though a similar role was sometimes performed by a decal headed. Hathor, Anubis was more commonly chosen to fulfill that function. One of the roles of Anubis was as the guardian of the scales, the critical scene depicting the weighing of the heart. In the Book of the Dead shows Anubis performing a measurement that determined whether a person was worthy of entering the realm of the dead or not, by weighing the heart of the deceased person against Mat or Truth, who was often represented as an ostrich feather. Anubis dictated the fate of souls. Souls heavier than a feather would be devoured by Amit, who was a female demon in ancient Egyptian religion with a body that was part lion, hippo and crocodile, the three largest man-eating animals known to ancient Egyptians. Souls lighter than a feather would ascend to a heavenly existence. Thank you for watching the storytellers, please feel free to like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe for the upcoming stories.